The inspiration came from some bad Mexican food that I ate one night. Kept me up late. My head was filled with visions and dreams of things I should be making. The gnome began holding a knife and a fork, and after they're made, we go and sign each one of them to make sure that they're uh, their original piece. And I use a process called nuke welding, which is uses electricity and a filler wire. It's also known as a wire feed welder, and uh, uses intense heat. Gets up to about 15 and 1600 degrees, and we weld the arms and legs, the head on. We actually form the head from a flat piece of steel, nice. in a hemisphere shape, and serrate the teeth. <coughs> And then the tool I was using was a plasma cutter, which runs off of compressed air and oxygen, and that uh, burns right through the metal. This guy right here was the very first Gnome Be Gone that I ever made. He wasn't called a Gnome Be Gone back then. He was actually made for a client. I get my materials from junkyards, transmission shops. Um, sometimes people bring loads of junk here. And drop it off. The turtle was one of the first pieces that I ever made. Um, it's made out of a World War II Army helmet. It's uh, recycling. It's giving something that was once used in combat a uh, second go around as something peaceful for the garden. This is a prototype of the possum. This is my sixth year at the Park City Arts Festival. probably about uh, one a month, so average around 12 years. I'm a horde of the circuit by far. Horde of the circuit means basically you get on board and you aren't able to get off. Um, almost as if you were addicted to crack cocaine. You try to get off of the crack pipe, but you just can't. You just keep doing it and doing it and doing it, and there's no end in sight really. From talking with people, it basically feeds my ego because I need constant praise and reassurance in order to know that I'm okay. Uh, I saw my sculptures out of the gallery here at 80 West Truman Avenue in Salt Lake City. We also sell them online at sugarpost.com and my work is represented by approximately 200 different galleries across the United States.